Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be building this modern house in Evergreen Harbor, which is a world that I don't build in very often in The Sims 4 and it's pretty much only because it's a bit frustrating because in the pack the gameplay is basically that you start out in this world and it's very ugly, like there's litter everywhere, it's kind of filthy and the whole point is that through gameplay you do these things that help it to become more green and clean and stuff and I think that gameplay is really interesting although a lot of the NAPs are a little bit cringy and I definitely turn them off in my own gameplay because I'm not about to have sims just like running around doing weird things, stealing your furniture and starting fights and like all these things I just yeah I'm not really about that in my own gameplay but I do appreciate the gameplay that's a little bit more unique but I really wish there was an option to turn it off other than cheats because I don't believe there is I think the only way you can change the way the world w looks is through cheats and because of that I'm just a little bit deterred to build in this world but today I've decided to suck it up and build this little kind of modern boxy looking house that I really like how it turned out. Um, I feel like I've been building a lot of modern things on both my channels recently and I think that's just because I struggle to build things that look more vintage and stuff in The Sims and I think it's just because a lot of the items that I have um, even custom content included is just very modern so yeah it's just a bit hard to do that and make it look the way I imagine in my head so yeah a lot of my builds are modern on the interior not always the exterior but you know maybe one day I'll get it figured out um so yeah the other thing I wanted to mention before we get into the inside of this build is just that I've decided to decrease the frequency of my uploads on this channel so right now I am uploading once a week I'm going to change it from once a week to twice or sorry not twice a week that's the opposite of what I'm doing to once every two weeks just because I've been feeling the burnout coming on the last month I'd say um, I've just not had any time to do almost anything but work build, record, and clean in my life. Like there's just not time for other hobbies and stuff. So I've decided for the time being that I don't have the time to make a video every week. It's just not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen or I'm gonna like really burn out and then not do it for a while, which I don't want that to happen. I want to keep uploading on both of my channels and you know, I saw a lot of growth just in the last year on my other channel, so I don't want to let that go, and I don't want to, like, let you guys down either. So yeah, I'm gonna try my best. I mean, I should easily be able to put out a speed build every two weeks. That's not really an issue at all, because it gives me a lot of time to not work on it if I don't want to. Uh, and that's the thing, I don't want to start, like, hating my builds, because that does happen if I feel forced to work on something. I don't want that to happen. I want to continue enjoying what I'm doing. So here we have this really tiny garage where we use Max20's new garage like stuff. I think it's a stuff pack. I mean it's a CC pack. I really love this. The cars look so good and just all the little garage clutter and everything. I think if The Sims ever did a car pack like stuff pack or game pack I don't think it would be as good as this other than the gameplay which you can't really do with custom content. I just think it's so cool and I really appreciate the effort that went into making it. So now we're on the inside of the build and I've become kind of obsessed with doing these kind of colorful builds. Not like crazy in your face color but like a lot of color where I normally wouldn't use it and honestly I really like how it looks. I feel like this build it kind of makes it look a little bit on the retro side which is interesting and I don't know if it's just the color combo that I picked where I've just seen builds in real life uh, houses and things that have this color combination that makes it look retro but it's kind of cool. 
as always I include a ton of plants I put this little shelf in between the two windows so that I could put some trailing plants on there because I think that always looks kind of cool it gives it almost like a jungly kind of vibe which is really nice um, so yeah the color scheme is basically this kind of warm wood and then blue and orange um, which I really like blue in this game. <laughs> blue and green are like probably my two favorite colors to use. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of a very open floor plan. I've used a bunch of Felix's Soho set again because I love it. I love the dividers and stuff. I think they look really cool. They're also pretty versatile where you can use them in a bunch of different situations. So this is the kitchen. It's up on a little platform just because it looked kind of awkward before with the way the floor plan was sitting so I decided to just raise it up a little bit so we've gone full blue in this kitchen but I think it looks really good with the couch and the blinds it kind of ties it together you'll see I also use a ton of Pierre Sims pantry uh, clutter which I'm also so happy with that set I had um I still have a set from Pierre Sim from for or no sorry 6am from forever ago that has some pantry items but this one just it had so many good little details and such a variety of items like just the jars and the cans like the variety and the amounts and the colors is so cool and I'm going to be using it probably forever because honestly I think it's really nice so I used I think this is from Pierre Sim as well I think David's apartment it's the door to like the little pantry cupboard thing and I kind of use it as this wooden backsplash which I feel like also plays a little bit into that retro look that this build has going for it so yeah we've got like a decent sized kitchen in here I I'm really happy with it I like the color scheme honestly I would cook here <laughs> so we're moving on to a bathroom there are two yes two bathrooms full bathrooms in this build one downstairs and then one up in the kind of lofted area so yes there is a loft in this build as well I forgot to mention that it is a family home so the parents sleep in the loft the teenager sleeps in like a closed bedroom that you access from the loft um, but yeah I think that's kind of cool I don't build with lofts super often every once in a while I feel like it just adds something kind of interesting to the build itself so this is the little home office I imagine one of the parents are like an interior maybe an interior designer artist uh, I'm not sure which because there is like an easel in here and there's some stuff from my Shino son I think she updated her artist CC pack um, because she did have an art CC pack but this one just has some new items and just looks a little upgraded it's pretty cool so yeah I added these little seats like you might bring clients in here to talk with them about what they want and stuff I thought that was kind of fun yeah, just like a cozy little office um, that I think is cool and looks kind of professional and also fits the whole environment of this build. Um, so this is a little bonus room here. Um, I imagine the teenager maybe uses it to hang out with their friends. It's kind of like a little theater room, but it's like very small. And if you do want to use it, you will have to delete part of the couches because I made it look like you know those really big couches where you can kind of lay back and put your feet up it's kind of looking like that using Hey Harry's new couch from her shop the look part three um I also added the little karaoke machine in here because I think that's kind of fun so yeah there's tons of activities and just this little room for your sims to hang out and have fun kind of in a more private area than just the main living area um so yeah here i'm just assembling this little couch bed situation i guess you could pretend that you have sleepovers in here as well because that could totally happen in real life not in the sims but in real life it could so this is the little loft where the parents room is it leads out onto that very small deck balcony situation outside and it also leads to this tiny little closet area that i made and the bathroom so yeah uh it's a tight little space but i think 
it looks kind of cool um i love the colors in here again pulling a lot of blue i definitely didn't add as much orange to this build as blue i don't know why i think it's just because the wood itself has kind of got this orange tone to it as well so it doesn't really require it so you'll see me doing this every so often where i use these pantry shelves from Perry Sim as bookshelves. I just think that it makes them a little more versatile and it looks kind of cool. So this is the parents bathroom and I imagine the teenager probably uses it as well since their room is very close by. And it's technically open so I don't know in gameplay if your sims might have an issue with that. You can always close it off if they do. I just thought it looked kind of interesting and because it's on the loft you could probably use it in real life without it being too embarrassing. So now we're on to the final room, which is the teenager's bedroom. I really like how this turned out. I did some like kind of cool custom stuff in here, as you'll see. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you want to support the channel, my Patreon is linked below. You can find all the trade files and the CC linked down below on my patreon this bill will also be on the gallery if you would like to download it there thank you so much for watching see you guys later bye